My name is Desmond Ho. I uh, actually come from Malacca, but now I'm residing in uh, Shah Alam. What we do is actually we design and build outdoor room. And the purpose of this room is actually to harness pleasure from Mother Nature. I'm from uh, Baba and Nyonya family and my hometown is in Malacca. So I remember as a kid, we grew up in an environment of a Malay village. We play in the paddy field, we play in the stream, in the river. It's a play with nature right in front of the doorstep. So uh, when I came up to the city, nature is like a taxi, but it's still there. The sunrise, sunset, full moon, starry night, it's all still there. I started by designing and building terrariums. Yeah, that's how my first affair with Mother Nature. During my garden centre days, that's where uh, there's a lot of customer in uh, from Subang Jaya and USJ. They have small little houses, you know, the terrace houses where they have small plot or land in front of the house, and they don't know what to do with it. So they they, they always come to the garden centre and then buy some pot, potted plants and try to decorate it. And they always ask ask me, say, what can I do with it? You know, I have such a small piece of land, and most of them uh, even tiles or cement it up. So I saw the opportunity that there is, you know, uh, you can create something out of it. But I'm not going back towards uh, the conventional way of how people landscape their garden, you know, the ground and then you put in uh, uh, cement and rocks and trying to create a pond and then uh, you work on the uh, garden for three weeks or one month and it's such a mess in front of, uh, you know, customer's house. So. I, I thought that if I can come up with something which is modular and I can uh, do it very fast and quick, then it will be interesting. So that's where we come up with a very modular system. In the morning, like a Lego set, in the morning we go in, by the evening we can actually get everything all done up. After a while, we, I thought about why not giving it a, an identity. If I were to say it, uh, Japanese garden, you can imagine. If I say it, Balinese garden, you can picture it. But what is the Malaysian garden? We actually study on this, our, all our Malaysian culture and Malaysian craft that came into Malaysia and uh, coexisted together, but without going down to the roots. Meaning that uh, if I were to study the culture of Baba Nyonya in Malacca, if I go down to their roots, I will end up studying the Chinese culture. Uh, if uh, the Minangkabau in Negeri Sembilan, if I study on their culture, I will end up studying, uh, go back to Sumatra. Or the Mama or the Indians, I have to go back to India. So uh, that won't reflect a true Malaysian culture. So we take whatever culture that came into Malaysia. So this culture is not only from the Chinese, but the Arab traders, the Indian traders, the Dutch, the Portuguese, the British, the, even the Japanese that came into Malaysia. So we take whatever that culture that came into Malaysia, even now, and then we study it and we give an interpretation. And the uniqueness is actually, all this culture is actually coexisted together in harmony. That is where we wanted to express the um, concept of a Malaysian garden. Uh, the first differentiation is we use uh, uh, the lattice work. Uh, Japanese lattice are uniform square. Uh, English lattice are diagonal shape. And Chinese, we have their motif too. So uh, for Malaysian, our inspiration comes from our kind play card, the sarong. So, and we have uh, uh, big and small squares, checker square. So why do we choose the kind play card as the uh, inspiration is because uh, if you know the kind play card, the sarong, is not only used by the Malay, it's also used by the Indian. And the Chinese even they use it, but a lot of them forgot because uh, as, as a kid, as a baby, their mother put them in a bed in a corn. When I started in the industry, actually, to bring up this uh, concept of Malaysian garden, I didn't know that it's going to come up to this far. So, uh, but uh, we knew that we wanted to do something that all Malaysians can be proud of. We even brought it overseas and proved that uh, the concept is acceptable overseas. But uh, because of the nature of the work, we are actually concentrated only in Klang Valley. So now our, our next course of action is actually to bring this whole concept to nationwide. Because uh, Malaysian garden have to belong to all Malaysian. It cannot belong to a me or belong to a company. So, and, and when you reach to all Malaysian that they can be proud of it. 
and people from overseas can come down and look at it. Oh yeah, this is Malaysian garden, this is not Balinese garden or this is not a Thai garden. My wife, she's Indian, so I've, uh, I'm not only Chinese, I'm an Indian and I'm also a, a Malay. Uh, being Malaysian in as today, you can see, is actually sometimes you walk by the street, you, you can't differentiate whether this person is a Malay or is Chinese or is an Indian. So eventually there will be one Malay race. So I personally grew up in that environment, can understand and can blend in and can be proud that uh, I'm a Malaysian.